All right, we're back. We're back. I have nothing to say. We're back. We're back. It's been a great month. I banished Elias <laughs> out of this office. Okay. To so, no longer be on this podcast. So I, I did want you to feel better that I just looked at the download numbers okay. before Talk this. The podcast with Elias was not the most downloaded podcast in July. Good. <laughs> it was awfully close. Too close for comfort. Don't say that. It was too close for comfort. No, no. Shout out to Elias for holding it down. Podcast game while I was gone. Much respect. Uh, it will be a long time before. What are you doing? I'm spitting out my gum. <sighs> G2. You got to be real. Guy. We talk about being Get real. Get him a checklist. Be a real authentic. All right. I'm back. I yeah. missed this. I'm excited. What are we talking about today? We're talking about your sabbatical. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Is there sabbatical music? Yeah, sabbatical okay. music. So what? What the heck? You took a month. You were out for a month. A drift sabbatical. I took a month off. Most so companies. We, wait, wait. You drift is like three years old. You took a sabbatical already. <laughs> what did you change? It? The sabbatical policy is different here. Yeah. So we came up with this crazy idea almost three years ago, which was when no one was here, which was instead of having five year sabbaticals for us to have this idea of having a sabbatical every uh, every three years. So not just one time, your first three year period, mm-hmm. but every three years, which seemed like a great idea three years ago and then it came up and I was <laughs> I had to be the first one to do it or else no one else would do it it's very true yeah so I'm glad glad we did it I'm back I've been gone for a month I've been in uh, Vermont I've been in LA all I've I gotta say is place. you guys send DC so much crap I sit across from him and his desk like the last it got cleaned last night but if you were here at five o'clock yesterday there was so much shit on your desk. I don't know what people send. We need somebody to screen. Fan mail. Fan we mail. need people to screen your mail. Shout it out to the, <laughs> the crew here. Thank you. I had books, yeah. multiple books, lots yeah. of books, uh, posters, yeah. letters, confidential, top secret you letters. You should have seen this place last night. It was like a it was like a scramble. It was like DC's coming back. <laughs> DC's coming back tomorrow. People are dusting shelves and, and puffing pillows oh. and, and, and moving desks around. It was it was amazing. So what did you like? Did you have a goal for your sabbatical? Did you did you have something intentional that you wanted? I know you're very intentional. I'm, I, knowing you, I'm assuming you you hadn't planned to just like, I'm going to go away for a month. Yeah. When we came up with the idea of the three-year sabbatical, we thought the uh, we should rally the idea around learning, right? No surprise. That's what we're obsessed around. And uh, just learning something new, nothing to do with uh, what we do here, but just go off and learn something new. And so um, my goal was to focus on three areas. One of them was... Um, cycling, cycling, become a better cyclist. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like that. Uh, two Rule was threes. to learn uh, to become a horse hand. Yes. Uh, in this case, uh, for my daughter, yep. CJ. Shout out, young who's CJ, a equestrian, mm-hmm. uh, and learn to be her assistant. Okay, I saw and that. I did that. Yep. And then the third was to practice daily meditation. Okay. Right. Did you practice daily meditation? I did. Thirty days. Thirty days. Consecutive. Consecutive. Tell, say more about that. Would you use that? Was it an app? Did you use that? No apps. No app. App free. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've 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 meditated before. You've read a lot of listened a lot. Yeah, of I've meditated energy. before. I've gone and off. Yeah. I've tried active meditation through box breathing. I've tried a whole bunch of different things. And uh, my thing here was shout out to Brad Stolberg. Yeah. My friend Brad Stolberg. Uh-huh. Uh, if you don't know, I forgot what episode Brad was on. He was on two episodes. Two episodes. One with Rich Roll yep. and one by himself. Yep. Um, and he's my performance coach. Mm-hmm. He's written a book called Peak Performance, which you should go and buy if you have not read it before. Anyway, Brad, I have a monthly call with Brad. And Brad suggested um, to read two books on meditation and to practice instead of doing an active uh, meditation, which means, you know, like box breathing is an active right. one, where basically you're using something to distract yourself into a meditative state yoga can be that and other forms can be that for me to actually focus on kind of a mindful meditation focus on the breath and focus on really being able to uh, deal with those distractions that come up and so he gave me a challenge to do that for 30 days which I did and you know I did 20 minutes a day um, and uh, I did it every day and I think you know my takeaway was that both for my overall sabbatical as well as the meditation was that uh, I was able to have this outer body experience. You did? You really believe that? Yeah, not in the yeah, not yeah. in a not movie in like, like a, way. a drug yeah, yeah. induced yeah, yeah. sense yeah. of maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe maybe not. Yeah, uh, but uh, no, um, 
not in this kind of mystical way, but yeah. basically being able for even for split seconds. And our my friend uh, Heaton Shaw was also is also into meditation. He would check on me every few days to ask me how I was progressing. Anyway, I was able to basically observe myself, and I was able that's on meditation. And then from a drift standpoint, I was able to step away, observe drift, and see the areas where we need help and where we need to double down, and just things that I was not able to see in the day to day. Mm. I, l- I love that. I love that meditation uh, thing and, and that you ca- came with some actionable stuff. I did. I was going to ask lost. you, I was going to ask you what you learned. And so that, that obviously answered, did you do the same time every day or did it? No, so Brad, uh, again, Brad Stolberg suggested that I find, and I always recommend finding for your practices the same time so that you can build a routine. That is the one area where I failed on my meditation, which was, well, it's not a failure. I didn't find that consistent time of day, and uh, mostly because, well, no excuses. Well, I didn't find it, and so it was a different time a day, sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the middle of the day, sometimes in the afternoon, and I think one thing I need to work on going forward is to have that consistent time. Yeah. Yeah. I love consistency is such a good lesson, like not just in routines, but like even in marketing, we talk about a lot, like consistency of publishing, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the best part, po- and I haven't done a good job with this podcast, for example, but like Say that? What's I, that? I said, I haven't done a good job with this podcast, oh, for example, okay. because the Never co-host noticed. took a month off, but yeah. um, it should come out the same it day. It should be planned. Right? It should be planned. It should, I should see you always flips. I should have five weeks of backlog, mm-hmm. but yeah, consistency and is weeks of uh, video backlog. Weeks of video. I'm looking at you, G2. See, this is, this is like a, interactive podcast what do you think is going on gt looks a little tired today no he's he is he was here late last night okay he was here late cranking on some stuff okay he came back he he went out and he came back and he was he smelled like a food place and he had a big bag of food and he was buckling in for a long night of uh of videos gt you need some red bulls (laughs) he's good he's good good. he doesn't need red bulls so i so so when you when you like thought when you hit when you thought about drift for example did you like write stuff down or was it repeated themes over many meditations that you didn't need to write down because you, you had a clear vision of what we got to work on? You know, I had this um, this idea at the beginning of the month that I was going to write things down, that yeah. I was going to do certain things. I wrote nothing down. That's good, though. Uh, I wrote nothing down. I also, funny enough, the f- uh, before I started the, the month off uh, sabbatical, I thought to myself, hey, I need to write a, a clever out of office email, <laughs> right? And then uh, cut to my the end of the third week, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, I forgot to write the out of office email." Uh, <laughs> and by that point, I didn't write. Obviously, didn't write. Yeah, you so I never, it. I never wrote an, That's uh, good. a clever out of just, office email. You don't need the to The emails read that. just piled up. But uh, so I didn't get to that. I didn't write down the things uh, that that I kind of meditated on or, or I thought about it. And one thing that was interesting that when I was talking to Heaton about it was that he was asking me, "Did I see any differences? Did I notice anything?" And, uh, and I talked to Brad as well. I said, not really during, but I noticed having some interesting thoughts outside when I wasn't meditating. And, uh, and they both said that was good. So I'm no expert on meditation. I love, I, lo- I think that like, I always have this thought, I don't meditate, but I have this thought like if I'm in the shower or at the gym and I'm like, I gotta write that down. And then like three hours later, you don't forget it because the right stuff, and you've always told this to me, like we'll the, come back. the right stuff comes back to mm-hmm. you and it keeps coming back to mm-hmm. you, especially if there's a bigger theme. Yep. Um, okay. So, so that was your, that was your sabbatical. Yeah. I, I, I went wa- to LA in my last week. I was going to ask you, I was going to have an agenda. Oh, okay. I wanted to know where you went. Okay. okay. So you start off in Vermont. Yes. Okay. So I went up to Vermont. Yes. Spent some time uh, alone briefly. By the way, we should do... We I I, ri- I wrote this down because you sent a video. We should do a podcast on the sales lessons you learned from the hot tub salesman. Oh yeah, we should do a separate Genius. podcast on Genius. that. Okay, that happened during my sabbatical, okay. uh, and I told DG about it. But this hot tub salesman was next level, <laughs> and uh, I bought a hot tub, everyone, and uh, it's still not there though. So anyway, I I took the the first almost week I was by myself. Then my I went back home. Uh, brought my daughter up and she had two weeks of a question competition in Vermont. Nice. Not where we live, but like uh, an hour and a half each way. So I every spent, day, every You're day chauffeur, chauffeur, three day. hours a day, three hours a day in a oh car my driving. God. That's awesome. And then standing in a barn in the heat. That's awesome. The, DG, there's no air conditioning in, in these uh, barns. Oh, I, or I fans. believe that. I yeah. can smell it. Yeah. And uh, in the heat, dust <laughs> everywhere. And, uh, and I did something. I had a little breakthrough there oh. for me, which was 
I just, I didn't complain. I didn't ask about anything. Yeah. I didn't ask what was next. I wasn't like focused on progression and I just sat there. Let it happen. Let it happen. That's an amazing and feeling. And observed. And, uh, and obviously did help my daughter wherever she needed help. But yeah. I wasn't anxious about what was the next thing. I just was in the moment. That's amazing because everything huge. is always next. Like, yes, did you, I'm always next, next, you, next, next. You probably had no phone service. So, there was no phone so service. You, there's a forcing function. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's barely any phone service at my house there, and there's definitely no phone service where we were. So Vermont, hang out by yourself, buy a hot tub. Lots of reading. Horses with CJs, lots of reading. Yeah, books. I was going to ask you about books. While yeah. we're, while we're, what books? So you I got read a book a, list? I read a Take ton out of books. Your, we'll put these in the show notes, but yeah. here you go. I read DC's a ton of books, books from to a meditation, which I'll... I'll uh, pass on. Yeah. And then I read, I read this book that I forgot who recommended this book to me. It's called the culture code. It's by Daniel Coyle. Okay. And I love that book so much that I went back and read his book, his first book, which is called the talent code, read that, loved that so much that I then went and read the kind of small addendum to that book, which is called the little book of talent. Mm. So I read all three of those books by the same author, highly recommend all of them. I would probably read them in that order, culture code, talent code, little book of talent. Uh, and then I'm in the middle. I didn't finish probably three other books that I'm kind of juggling. Interesting, so interesting five, thread. Cause I know what you were thinking. I know what you were thinking a lot about on sabbatical, which is, the drift team and people mm -hmm. did those books fuel that or, or was it connection? Was that what you're thinking about? And that's why you picked up the book and read it. Um, uh, no, I really picked up the book because someone recommended it okay. to me and it happened oh, it to be, was, connected. Uh, it was our friend, uh, Richard Banfield. Yeah. Right. Shout uh, out, shout out to Richard. Yeah. Um, great cyclist himself. Is that what you say? No, is no, it he, cyclist? He is a great cyclist. Okay. I am not a cyclist. <laughs> okay. Richard is a great cyclist. Okay. And, uh, okay. And he runs a company called Fresh Told Soil. He yeah. co-authored a book called Product Leadership. He's a great guy. Anyway, uh, he recommended, he said, I know you're going to love this book, Culture Code. So I bought it instantaneously as I do. Read that book and love the other ones. Nice. Uh, but I was, it was really just fueled off of that. The people, it just so happened that those books overlap with this idea of focusing on people. Mm. Because going into the sabbatical, I had thought something that we often repeat internally, that you know, all problems and opportunities are really people based problems 100 percent, right and so like so i was thinking about that already going in and those books happen to kind of fuel that and along those lines you you found something which is interesting we should we should share this also which is like uh something from it was from jeff bezos 1996 letter to shareholders mm -hmm. and it was his really simple rubric for hiring yeah basically he uses three criteria for hiring and i passed that around to a couple of people here and to really look and reflect on the people that we're hiring, the people that we've hired, and do they match these three qualities, you know, of that Jeff talks about? And we'll link that up in the show notes as well if you haven't seen that. Yeah, all all connected. Okay, yeah. so and then so, I finally ended the sabbatical. Yeah, and I went to L.A. You went to L.A. So I'm I was um the anti Vermont. I was catching up with D.C. and he says to me, he says, so I'm sitting at this hotel. I'm sitting in the lobby and I'm having breakfast one morning. And I think one of the card. I know one of the Kardashians was sitting next to me having yeah. having breakfast. I don't know which one though. I don't he know doesn't know which it. one. Yeah. Everybody else in the company in the world would know. Oh, no. that was Kim. That was Chloe. That yeah. was Courtney. I saw three three celebrities. Not you, G. No. Yeah. Okay. I grew up in New York, so we're like celebrity um, immune. But I saw three <laughs> yes. celebrities. Uh, okay. So you saw you saw a Kardashian. We that do was the not last know. Day. If you know who was there, message us. I think us. it was Chloe Kardashian, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, one of them. Yes. And uh, first day. No, that was the last day. That was the last day. The first day, I, s I was I got on a bird scooter. Yeah. Shout out bird scooter. By the way, I got a ticket. We tried. In Santa Monica. He got a ticket. I got a ticket in Santa Monica on a scooter. <laughs> for no hel for no helmet. How sad is that? I got that ticket um, while a hundred other people were riding by with no helmet. <laughs> so I got singled out, profiled. Anti DC. <laughs> yes, definitely. Old dude on a scooter. Definitely. They stopped that guy. <laughs> right that um, man up. How much is the ticket? It doesn't say on it. <laughs> and it says I have to appear in Santa Monica in November. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone know anyone knows a way out of this, please yeah. hit me up, message yeah. me. I need to get out of this ticket. Yeah. So I'm on this scooter, but and I'm riding this bird scooter. And free advertising for our friends at Bird. Yeah. And I'm I'm riding and this guy comes around the corner on a fat bike, you know, one of those fat bicycles. Yeah. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
That's unbelievable. He comes around the corner and there's someone else with him. I look at the other guy. He looked like a special forces Spetna uh, military killer dude. I can picture it. I don't yeah. even know what he was wearing, yeah. but I picture it. Oh, my goodness. That's you could amazing. tell. Crew cut, the whole thing. Yeah. He comes around. The two of them riding. By the time I recognize that it's Arnold, I'm like, oh, I, th- I should have got it. Which is better because you wouldn't. You can't do it. You're going to stop him. Like, I mean, How many times have we to. talked about the amazing book, which is Too Total many. Recall? Too many. If you haven't read that book, go get it. I get the audio book. The audio book's great. Anyway, so I see There's him. There's a clip for social media, by the way. Then I'm out in Malibu. I'm bike riding out in Malibu. Shout out Rich Roll. I yeah. was hunting for you, Rich. I couldn't find you. Rich, we'll see you in five weeks, Rich. Yeah. So I was, I was riding out there at Hypergrowth yeah. West. September 24th. And uh, so I'm riding out in Malibu, you know, getting my acai bowl mm. on, getting my, my vegan lifestyle Just so going. lovely. And um, you know who walks by while I'm eating my, my bowl? Well, I, I know because you told me, but oh, yeah. who? Uh, Mike D. Mike D. If you don't know Mike D, Mike he's D. one of the three Beastie Boys. Yes. He walks by, all hippied out, no shoes on in a parking lot, just Man. rolls by. Oh, that's the life. These people got famous. Now you go live the hippie life. Yeah, yeah, he's in, living. And then I Malibu. noticed that where I'm sitting, which is just this store, that there's all these signs. Pa- anti-paparazzi, no photos, the da, 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 all this kind of so stuff. Clearly so clearly those are spots where people are hanging out. Yeah, I didn't realize that. At the you time. must have felt so, nice. So I see him, and then on the last day, I see some Damn. unknown Kardashian. Mike D, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and a Kardashian. That's pretty what good. What does that say? That's anyway, by the, by that time, I was done with L.A., and I was ready to come back. I love it. I don't know how much more I can interview you about this sabbatical. That's mm-hmm. like, I, I, so you learned. Do you think G2 missed me? Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah. What is a, Look at him. He could barely raise his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about... Um, we we talked about the next book that we're gonna write, okay. which is called Anticipating Feedback. Yeah, I like that. You you both read. <laughs> we're gonna co-author that book together. Wait, are you guys clowning on me? No, 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 no. Yeah. It's gonna be a good book. It's gonna be good. <laughs> it was, what it's like to be get ready for feedback? Yeah, it's called the book is called Anticipating Feedback. Well, you don't have to anticipate it anymore. It's back. <laughs> feedback is back in the house. Feedback is back, baby. Yeah. So we're back. Seeking wisdom. I promise you. Uh, I promise you will be stronger than ever. Yeah. Uh, because we haven't followed our own, own advice, which is double, triple down on it, and it, it really is our, our best channel and, and the, the, the best thing we got. So We have gonna, some new channels uh, yeah. coming. We have some amazing new shows sure. by Maggie, for Build, by um, on the Exceptions podcast. Jay's yeah. doing a good job there. Yeah. We have a bunch of stuff coming up, and we're going to get we're gonna level up our studio and filming. We're going to have some screens here. I thought there'd be screens back here. We'll, we'll talk to G2. <laughs> like you were supposed to go spend thousands. Of, yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. We need a we need a sponsor. Drip, this should be sponsored by Bird. Bird, please sponsor this yeah. podcast. Arnold Schwarzenegger, hit me up. Next time we'll hang. Rich Roll, I'll see you September 24th yeah. of Hypergrowth. And come hang out with us, man. We're back. Five weeks to go. Five weeks till Hypergrowth, September 4th. Tuesday, September 4th, the day mm. after Labor Day. In Boston. In Boston. And a lot of people keep asking me, DG, I, you know, how do I take the day off work, right? What am I going to do? And uh, Let me, let me, uh, I'll go ahead. How they do. Okay. Take the day off work. <laughs> like that. That's it. That's how you do it. That's it. But if you need an That's excuse. That's like, like, Jocko, how do you get up at 4.30? Yeah. I get up. You know what somebody also asked Jocko? Is, Jocko, how do I get better at pull-ups? He said, you know what he said? Do more pull-ups. <laughs> that's it so take the day off it's a one day i think of it like a one day investment in yourself Mm -hmm. it's a it's a workshop right Right. like you have somebody like grant cardone charges five figures for a training session he's speaking right Mm -hmm. jocko five figures for his session speaking the the lineup is insane casey neistat is going to be there our homie molly graham molly graham is going to be there shaka pilgrim who is the president of rock nation Mm -hmm. uh amy morin The, the whole the whole lineup is the whole I was looking at the lineup today we were going set we were going minute by minute and I was like I got chills because I was like this is insane the lineup is and insane not only will you be learning but we're gonna have fun we're gonna have don't fun. forget that we DJ. only yeah that's it it's fun it's yeah. a party it's gonna be awesome it's outdoor yeah the Boston one and then September 25th we're in San yeah. Francisco also um just something we're starting to work on right now that day 2 p.m we're dropping a new product at Trift. Okay, we okay. got to work on that. All right, one thing Take we need, we all need to work on yeah. is leaving six star ratings. It's been low. It's been low. It's been low. So I haven't been on the podcast pimping the six stars. We need the six star ratings. Leave a little comment in there. Show some love to Andrew G to D a little bit to no, DG. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, shout out, and if you have a creative six star rating, maybe Ooh. I will select you to fly you out to Hypergrowth and sit in the VIP booth so you can hang out with the speakers. Whoa. VIP room. I'm gonna go Remember, home and Remember, DG write some does reviews. not have VIP access. I do not. I do not. All right, Let's we're out of here. Six star rating. See ya. See ya.